Hi, Peter Hudson here. I thought I'd put together a little video on how to fly the Klingberg wing, uh, the Mark II model that I've put up on X-Plane. And, uh, you know, right now Rawl is just finishing up the actual aircraft and getting ready to start testing on it, so it seems like a good time to, to make this available to everyone. The first thing to note is in the folders there are two different versions of the of the flying wing. Uh, they're basically identical except one's been told it's a glider in Plane Maker and the other hasn't. Uh, and you'll see how they, they both work. But this is the only way I could figure out how to um, allow that choice to happen for you. So you can either foot launch from, from a, the edge of a cliff or, or be towed aloft or winched aloft as usual for gliders. I'll start by showing you a flight uh, with a winch launch. There's a, a small plug-in that I add to, to make sure the winch isn't too powerful for such a light aircraft. Um, it changes the set settings on the winch and then it, it changes them back when you, when you unload the aircraft. So if you select the one that says winch, uh, that'll either be winch or towed. And uh, you know, be sure to add your payload weight because it'll be unrealistic if you don't weigh however much you weigh. In this case, I'm going to do a launch at the Mountain Valley Airport, which is uh, Lima 94. It's in Tehachapi in California. Um, well the, the stick controls the elevons in the traditional fashion. There's nothing really um, new to tell you about there. There is, however, three sort of unusual controls that, that won't really exist in the actual aircraft. Uh, one is this run effort slider uh, that we'll talk about more when a, we do a foot launch. Um, there's a brake button because I don't like to have to peek out from under my VR goggles to find the B on the keyboard. Um, and then there's a, uh, a legs up and down button. In this case, we're going to start on our feet. Uh, when the aircraft loads, it, it starts you off on your feet. Uh, overhead, there's a ball that's a toe release. Um, you can just use your mouse or your um, touch controller to, to, to do that, or, or space bar on your keyboard if, if you're not using VR. In addition to the stick, which is controlling the elevons and, and through some control mixing the, the drag rudders, you also have flaps that will go from 0 to 90 degrees. Uh, they're con it's basically just a, a cord that you pull and lock out with a cleat. If you're using VR, you have the or, or using the mouse on this actuator, you can slide it. You have an infinite number of positions between 0 and 90 degrees. If you're just using some button to select the flaps, or I think I have it in four, four settings. You can see here on a short final, I can you know, go full 90 degree flaps and really burn off some, uh, some altitude. Now you can choose to keep your legs up and land on the wheels or put your legs down and, and land on your feet. In this case, since we did a foot launch, I'll go ahead and do a foot landing. And I'll do that by clicking the, the legs up and down button. I also like to press the brake button before I touch down because it's more realistic in terms of the deceleration you would normally do, you know, landing on your feet. Next, I'll switch to the run version of the Klingberg wing model um, and make sure my weight's correct and go off to Crestline for a launch. Crestline's a popular soaring site from Southern California in the San Bernardino Mountains. So I, I've created a helipad at Crestline and um, I use that as the location from which to run. I put out a video on how to create hang glider launch sites so you can um, make a launch site any place that you really want to try to fly from. So for foot launching we'll get a chance to try one of the uh, unusual controls in this aircraft. Uh, I'll turn off the brakes um, and then go to the run effort slider and as I slide it up I'm asking for some run effort in the forward direction. I can slide it down a little bit past the yellow line too. Yellow is where I have no effort at all. Uh, if I slide it down below that yellow band uh, I'll be trying to back up or slow down. I like to get right up to the edge and make sure my flaps are set and everything's ready to go and then and then go for my launch. And the plug-in that handles the feet running and retraction, it, it pays attention to whether you're in the air or not and w once you've had a good clean launch it'll reset the run effort to zero and, and automatically pull your legs up. You don't have to do anything to make that happen. As I fly by the place I just took off from, you can see the little helipad and the windsock that I put there. I 
Right, in this next clip we'll do an arrow tow. Uh, I'll use the Swift Light as a tow, tow vehicle. I'm not sure that's ever really been done in, in real life, but it, it seems like a good fit for this flight. You definitely don't want to do this behind a Stinson or anything that's going way too fast for the kind of speeds you really want to fly this glider at. In this case I want to do a, a rolling launch, so I'll use my leg up down button and um, press that and it'll just settle the glider down to the to the wheels. And then once I release the brakes the, the tow will start. Naturally, I'd get in all kinds of trouble with the locals if I really flew around the airport this way without paying any attention to the traffic patterns, etc. But, um, you know, I'm just demonstrating this for you for right now. In this case, we'll do a wheeled landing and show you how that looks. All right, and add some brakes, and the, the flight is done, and so is this video. I'd like to thank Raul Klingberg for his support while I was creating this model. He was very forthcoming with pictures and descriptions of how he intended things to work, and um, overall it made creating the model a lot of fun. And and I got to meet a nice guy. So uh, thanks for all for that, and I hope you all enjoy flying it.